So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code for Hub and welcome to this tutorial of machine learning. So friends, in the previous video we have seen like uh, what is linear regressions and what are the assumptions and advantages and disadvantages of linear regression. If you have not watched my that video then I will suggest you to please watch that video first. I will provide you the uh, link in the descriptions or also you can watch it from my playlist. So today's in this video, I'm going to learn about one of the uh, performance measures of linear regression algorithm that is mean square error, which is used to measure the performance of linear regression model. So we will see about this, uh, what is mean square error. So let's get started. And before starting the videos, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please, please, please do subscribe it and please share and like my videos. So let's get start. Uh, so first I will open my presentation page so here i have prepared a beautiful presentation for the mean square error so we will understand by this so let me tell you what it, uh, let me first tell you what is mean square error so uh, if you are building any if you are making any linear regression model or any kind of uh, model using different kinds of machine learning algorithm then you have to measure the performance of that uh, model and how do you do that how do you measure the performance of uh, uh, performance of your model? So there are different methods come for that. So there are uh, different matrices, matrix or evaluation matrix. You can say that uh, comes for measuring the performance of your models. So in the case of a linear regression model, a linear regression model or any kind of regression algorithm or regression model, the mean square is one of the evaluation uh, method by which you can measure the performance of your model. So there are several uh, um, mechanisms, there are more methods by which you can measure the uh, performance of your linear regression model. So the first is mean square error and the other one is um, uh, root, root mean square, R square, adjusted R square. These are the uh, mechanisms by which you can measure the performance of your regression model. So let us first understand what is mean square error. So, if you check my, uh, if you check this, if you will notice this point, so the first point is what is mean square error. So mean square error is used to measure the performance of your linear regression model. As I have already told you that these are used to measure the uh, performance of your linear regression model. And um, so how can you define this definition of square error, a mean square error? So mean square you can define it. You have your predicted values that is y hat and your actual value which is called y okay so these are your difference between the y hat and y and y hat is a predicted value and y is your actual value okay so i have explained these things in my linear regression uh, tutorial you can explain it there so this is the best fit line of curve and this is your data points okay so this is the y value which is uh, your actual value and this best fit line these are the predicted values which your model is predicting okay so yeah so now let's see that so what is this mean square error so mean square error is the difference between your predicted value and actual value and it takes the square of this difference make the summation take the average and make the summation of this so this is the definition of mean square error you can see that i have written this here it takes the difference of actual value and predicted values and square them here and square them you can see that and square them and find the average of them so it here you can see that it's finding the average of it and so this is what a mean square error uh, formula looks like one upon n summation of this summation is that uh, it will take the first uh, predict actual value minus first predicted values plus second actual value minus second predicted values plus third actual values minus uh, third predicted values and it take the square of them and make the summation okay so this picture is uh, actually i have uh, downloaded from the uh, from the data course uh, so yeah so let's see the next point it tells that how close the regression line to the set of uh, points yes as i have already told you it is uh, it, it tells the 
how best your regression line is fitted to the actual cells of point. Okay. What it does is that. So let's suppose that uh, this is your best fit of line. Okay. And this is our points. This is our points. So what it does is that it tells you how best is your that regression line. This is your regression line. Okay, so how best is the regression line is closest to this your uh, is closest to the set of points. Okay, so this regression line should be closest should be close to the set of points. Okay, the so distance is should not be much much larger. Okay, so this distance should be very small. So this uh this line which you are uh, you can see here like me. So this line which you see here. Is called the error. Okay, so what means square error do? It tries to minimize this error. It tries to minimize these distances. Okay, the close, the, the less is the distances of these points, uh, actual points to predicted points or best fit of line, the more your model will perform good. So, mean square error tries to minimize this error. So next point is it takes a square of the value in order to eliminate the negative. So you have when thinking why this uh, means why we are taking here square, okay? Why we are taking this square? So we took this square in order to let's suppose that if you are finding a mean square error and you get some negative value. Some get you get some negative value. So what it square will do? This square will convert these negative values into positive values. Okay. So this is the main aim or uh, to take the negative uh, to take the square of this uh, difference of the actual value into predicted values. So you can see that this is the formula. Okay. Now let me go to the next page and let me show you this with an example. So this is the diagram uh, where I'm going to explain you. Uh, I will explain you about this diagram and I think I have downloaded this diagram from the internet. You can uh, find it very easily. You have to just search about the mean square error and go to the image section, you will get it very easily. Okay, so let me explain you. So I have explained you that what, what mean square error does is try to minimize this distance. The less this distance will be, the more your model will perform good. So this is called the error rate. Okay. And this is your data points and this is your actual point or you can see that, say that this is the regression line. So it tries to minimize these distances in order to get the better result or better accuracy. Okay. Now. Now let's come to this point. Uh, I have told you if values of mean square error is high, then performance of your, of your model will be worst. So I have told you the value of your mean square error should be very small or close to zero. If it is small or close to zero, then your model will predict good. It will give you the a better result. And if the mean square error value is high, like it is greater or very much high positive value, then the performance of your model will be worst. So try, you have to, uh, you should try to minimize the mean square error or bring it to the uh, closest to the zero. Uh, this is the same. The lower the value of mean square error, better the model will be performed. And again, mean square error is sensitive to outliers. Okay. So if your model contains some outliers, okay, if your model contains some outliers, then the mean square error will be also get affected by that. So what is this outlier? So outlier is uh, some data points which lies far or farther or far away from this actual point. So you can see that these points are found to uh, closest to each other, but this point is far away from this other point. So this is called as outliers. I will make a, a detailed video about outliers. Don't worry. We need to find the intercept C and slope M. It minimizes the square error. So you have seen in my previous video about the equation of straight line or linear regression that is mx plus c. So this m value is your slope. Okay, this m value is slope, and this is your intercept. So what uh, 
what means by uh, do is try to it uh, tries to find out uh, this uh, intercept values and this uh, slope in order to minimize the square error, the, uh, error that is the error between these your points error you know that is error between these points the actual y and uh, predicted y and this line Let's try to minimize this line okay so now this was all about mean square error so we have a lot about the mean square error now let's come to the root mean square error so root mean square error is another term for basing the performance of your linear regression model or any kind of regression model so you can see here uh, linear uh, root mean square error um, actually measure how far is the data points to the predicted line like just uh, uh, similar to the mean square error root mean square error also find the distance like how like how much your regression line is close to the um, data points like it also tries to minimize the distance between them it tells how concentrated our data points to the best fit line so um, let me explain with this so this is your best fit line and this is your data points so it actually tells you how much these data points how much these data points are closest to this uh, best fit line okay the more closer this uh, data points to its best fit line the better your model will perform so what is the main difference between root mean square error and mean square error is that the root mean square error is take the square root of square root of summation of y height minus y whole square the formula remains same but in uh, in case of root, root mean square error rmsc it takes the square root of this formula so this much is the difference between the root mean square error and square error again this picture is downloaded from the net so this was all about uh, the root mean square error and mean square error so this used to measure the performance of your model uh, so in the next video i'm going to tell you about the other performance measure matrices uh, uh, for the regression model like uh, uh, r square and adjusted r square so this was this was the uh, two methods two methods to measure the performance of your regression model I will tell you about the R swine and adjusted R swine in the next video. So this was all about today's video. Uh, thank you for thank you for this. And uh, in the next video, uh, I will explain you about the same. And okay, this was all about today's video. I will see in the next video. And before leaving the videos, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please do subscribe it and please share and like my videos.